Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the official ARC podcast number 285. My name is Coach Mistletoe, and I'm here live with the core team. Your host for tonight, as always, the one and only Mr. Atlas. The floor is all yours, sir. Thank you for the introduction, Coach Mistletoe. And folks, welcome back to another edition of the ARC Daily Podcast. This is Saturday, August 12th. Boy, are we feeling good here. Calm, cool, collected. The FOMO is everywhere you look. DM's coming through. We heard James at the water cooler. He's talking all day, every day about the tarot card, getting his hands on one. He can't decide yet what customization, what logo, what he wants to put on his metal card. He definitely wants to sign up for one of those bad boys. We're to have plenty of time for him to decide. We're to have the plastic card. We're to have four different versions of the metal card. Options galore for everyone. Customization available. Have it your way. Crypto.com. Love you guys. Carrying the torch for so long. But the Terra is here, folks. Two-tier affiliate system so that every time someone buys a card, loads a card, or they give their referral to somebody else, my friends, you're going to be cashing in. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful system. And of course, the chase is on who's going to catch the biggest lounges, the biggest groups, the bigger Twitter space gurus with hundreds of thousands of users and bring them in here so they can get their hands on the car, try it out for themselves, and they just go full throttle, my friends, into the shilling, sharing the good news, and everyone being calm, cool, collected, and happy to have access to go to the ATM anytime they wish. Four in the morning, two in the afternoon, Saturday, Sunday, Mother's Day, New Year's Day, every day, holidays, even on a Super Bowl day. Instantly load your crypto, spend it online, go to the ATM, live your best life, folks. That's what it's meant to do. You have to be looking over your shoulder all the time. Let's take a quick look. Let's see what is happening here, folks. On board the ARC. Total vault accounts 5,568. Liquidity on packet swap 67,673 BUSD. ILC reserves 110,462 BUSD. The price of the ARC is 11 cents. Spark price pool 820. I'm sorry, 822.76 ARC. And today, we're going to find our next Spark Prize winner. Our MVP. Hold on a second. I don't know if you guys can still hear me. Can you hear me? Coach, yeah, we can hear you. Yep. Yeah, a little hmm. broken, but we can hear you. Oh, it sounds really bad for me. Um, I'm going to have to probably log out and see what's happening here with the broadcasting studio i'll turn it over to you mr brett if you don't mind okay yeah no problem here we go all righty yeah the the tarot card getting close uh alex was just on before we started the recording uh talking about uh the number of screens and and the user flow and he's inching closer to being finished um then we're going to go into testing and get through the the uh identity identity verification process as well as load some cards and um, play with it on our end and then probably release to the DAO for some initial cards and uh, that'll kick us off and then we'll have a live launch date fixed at that point once we're comfortable that everything's working fine which uh, we don't see any issues on the horizon but there's always little tweaks and things that the DAO helps us refine and get better Um, it's an amazing resource we have there a great group of people 
Um, if you're not part of the DAO, that's the way to get access to that is through the legacy NFT. So uh, we still do have the legacy savings account open. It's an amazing opportunity. You can put your ARC in the legacy savings account and avoid the sell tax and also uh, save towards your silver if you don't have a legacy NFT yet, or even upgrade to a gold if you have a silver or upgrade to a platinum um, if you have a gold. And um, so I think that's a, something we haven't talked about in a little bit, but obviously with Terra coming out, a lot of attention will be on the ArcFi token. Uh, but at the end of the day, the legacy NFT holders also benefit uh, greatly from the Terra card and from those revenues that are coming back, the profits that are being shared um, and split three ways between the uh, the legacy NFT holders and the uh, treasury as well as the ILC. And the ILC basically is like a buyback mechanism uh, for the ArcFi token. So um, yeah, lots to uh, celebrate as the Terra gets closer. And uh, if you don't have your legacy NFT, I would encourage you to take a look at that once again not just because uh, there's a limited supply, but um, we have some things that we're cooking up for the legacy NFT. We have seen a drop, obviously, in the uh, revenues generated from the buy and sell taxes that are uh, that feed the legacy NFT rewards pool. So the uh, profit sharing has dropped a little bit, so the rewards pool has come down. And uh, But we have uh, some plans in place in, in the near future to... Uh, help reverse that and even improve it significantly, as well as the utilities that are going to generate the revenue that'll feed back into the legacy NFT. So um, not financial advice, but uh, I've been encouraging uh, everyone to take a second look at those legacy NFTs um, as a very nice, stable BUSD rewarded uh, opportunity here in the ArcFi ecosystem. Uh, that's about it on the updates. We, we've got some things cooking still uh, with... Uh, Arc Light and the uh, the dev team is progressing very well there, and right about the time I think that uh, Alex is finishing up uh, Terra, we'll probably have him start to uh, interact with that dev team and get the UI UX design uh, finalized. We are going to have a rough framework already in place from the dev team, but obviously we have our branding and everything. Uh, we do have a uh, product landing page already designed. Uh, for ArcLight. Um, so it's going to be a matter of implementation at that point. Uh, and then with the uh, privacy products, looking forward to another strong week. That dev team doesn't typically work on the weekends. Um, there's about six strong in that team, and we've had a lot of interaction over the last few days. So things are progressing well, um, but looking forward to another big week. That's going to be, obviously, it's a pretty large project. We have uh, four different privacy products that we're integrating all in one app. Um, but that's going to be, I think, a huge, huge win for us uh, and great timing just in terms of the market and where we're going to be hopefully, um, you know, starting to pick up some steam and have a, um, a, a bull run on the horizon. And that could really help us and I think uh, improve our adoption not only for the privacy products, but then also in the uh, the rest of the ecosystem. So that's kind of a general update on those couple projects. But uh, yeah, Terra's getting close. And uh, I think we'll be sharing some more about the profit sharing, or sorry, the uh, affiliate program, the commission structure for the Terra card next week so that all of our um, team leaders and uh, influencers and people that are doing shorts and just every investor could take a look and see what the opportunity is going to be to build a business even around the Terra card as well as the Air card because there is some uh, some nice juicy commissions as well as some residual commissions for the Terra card uh, in that you'll earn a small commission every time somebody loads the card uh, which is amazing so once you get someone to sign up, they have the card. Every time they put crypto and swap it for uh, USD and the load balance on the card goes up, you get a commission for that. So uh, looking forward to sharing that, getting feedback, and starting to see the FOMO really start to build. Uh, that's about it for me. I think uh, Alex has been working all day today, and I'm sure that will continue for himself and Mr. Green through the weekend to get the final pieces of tarot card put together, and then we'll have some more updates uh, tomorrow as well as through the week on how testing and other things are going 
as we finalize the flows and, and get everything kind of ready for uh, the DAO. I think that's about it. Is Atlas back? Oh, yeah. Hang on every word. <laughs> yeah, I could hear. Uh, good again. Can you guys hear me okay? Yeah, little little matrix, but not bad. Oh, not yeah. good. Wait, me. Yeah, no, it should be. We got the backup up, back up. <laughs> yeah, no issues on my end. Fantastic. Great update, Brett. And we're looking forward. It's going to be a big week. More building, more fun. More giving away free crypto. And are you ready <laughs> to give away more free crypto? Mr. Mistletoe to show some shorts. Oh, yeah. We got some amazing shorts for today. Let's get in that shorts contest. Just checking Let's to make do sure it. last minute entries on the wheel of Toad are in the wheel. No one left behind. Okay. Make sure Mr. Mr. Big's on the list. Mr. Big's on the list. Okay. He's there. Yep. <laughs> okay. Man's going to get quite and, uh, upset if he's not on the list. Oh, he's yeah. there. He's there. <laughs> Speaking of Mr. Big, though, we actually have one of the first shorts from Mr. Big himself. Let's go. Oh, this is going to be exciting. Submitted a short into the contest. But uh, let me explain a little bit about what's going on here before we get into these amazing shorts. This is the new shorts contest we have here on board the ARC. <clears throat> It's a contest open to anyone and everyone that wants to participate. All you need to do is simply create a piece of short form content on the ARC. It can be anything about the roadmap, you know, your experience with ARC, have some fun with AI, some little skits. You can get creative with it. There's a lot of examples you can pull from and learn from, like uh, Crypto Fergie, just Sean. He's been making some really amazing ones. Crypto Unlimited 22, Mr. Big, all these guys you can definitely reach out to. They'll be, I'm sure there's... They'll definitely be willing to give you a helping hand and guide you on how to make some of their shorts. And uh, yeah, it's super easy to get involved. Once you make one of those shorts, you can upload them over to YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, all those different platforms. They're all accepted. And once you create your content and submit it to myself or either the sweet budget there, we have the sweet budget entry. <clears throat> Once we get a batch of three, what we're going to do is every day on the podcast here, we show the three shorts of the day. We po we create a poll in the uh, Telegram chat in the contest and giveaway chat over there. And we have a community vote off. So we're going to show the three shorts for today. The community is going to have 24 hours to vote for their favorite short. And then tomorrow on the podcast, we're going to reveal the winner for whoever gets the most votes is going to take home the prize of best ARC short of the day. They're going to win $50 worth of ARC. They're going to be featured on the sweep widget, as well as being uploaded over to our uh, official YouTube channel, the ArcFi YouTube channel, and posted on the Twitter. So definitely get a showcase over there, showcasing all your, uh, your platforms. <clears throat> Anyone that wins round one for the best arc short of the day, they're going to move to the second round, where once we get seven winners of the week, what we're going to do is have another poll voted for by the community where we're going to take all the winners of the week. We're going to put them, the seven winners, in one poll. The community is going to have another 24 hours to vote for their favorite one. That winner chosen by the community is going to take home the prize of best ARC short of the week. They're also going to win $100 worth of ARC, and they're going to move over to round three, the final round, the grand prize. Once we have four weekly winners, and this is the last day of the uh, the third week. So once we have uh, the winner for today, we're going to have a, the third week for the best short of the week. Then one more, and we're going to find our winner for the grand prize. <clears throat> once we get those four winners of the week, they're going to move to the third round where the community is going to vote once again for the four winners of the week. We're going to show them live on the podcast, we'll probably have 48 to 72 hours for the whole community to get involved, vote for their favorite one and claim the winner of best arc short of the month. That person is going to win $500 worth of arc, but it doesn't stop there. We're also going to do uh, $500 for the person that has the most viewed video. And that can be on any of the different platforms, you know, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, any of the different platforms are all eligible. So 
person has the most viewed video at the end of the month, they're going to win $500 worth of arc. And I believe right now it's still, uh, I think AJ Metz has the, the lead for nearly 10,000 plays over on TikTok on one of her shorts. And that moves into the last way to win. <clears throat> if you have uploaded any sort of piece of content, maybe you've already uploaded a YouTube short or a TikTok, uh, it is definitely in your best interest to upload those videos across as many different platforms as you can. If you have one YouTube video, create a TikTok account, create an Instagram account, account create a Facebook account, and upload all of those shorts across all different platforms because not only do you know that maybe you can pick up the algorithm on, you know, you, you upload it to YouTube, it doesn't really work out. You don't get as much traction as you hope for, but you can upload it to Instagram or, or TikTok and that algorithm can pick up your video and, and make it go viral. So it's definitely in your best interest, upload them across all different platforms. And when you also do that, at the end of the month, when we do the best arc short of the month, we're going to have a wheel of the toad where every single link that you submit to myself or the sweep widget if you create one piece of one video, one short, and you upload that to TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, that's five different platforms. That's that one video is actually going to give you five entries onto that wheel. And how that's going to work is at the end of the month, we're going to spin that wheel. We're going to choose five random winners to win a hundred dollars worth of arc each. So it definitely pays to even just create one short. If you can't compete with any of these superstars out there you know put in hours in editing these amazing shorts pull do even what what johnny does from from uh crypto johnny foster from crypto unlimited 22 there they they just go on a hike they pull out their phone and they record a little video talking about the arc i'm sure it takes them you know five ten minutes of their time and upload it to youtube and boom they're entered in the contest so you don't have to go crazy with it you don't need to get all these different animations you can simply turn on the camera even if you're camera shy you can just even use your voice. So lots of ways to get entered. That's the shorts contest, but let's take a look at our three competitors for today. Mr. Big with the first one, FOMO for missing art. Oh, All right, we should be able to hear it. Let's take a look. Mr. Big, let's go. <laughs> let's go rumors has it that's that's mr big actually beatboxing too <laughs> oh that was awesome gotta give it to him FOMO for missing the arc fight. Yeah, that's all you need to do. You don't need to, like I said, you don't need to go super crazy and, and have these super edits. Just get yourself out there, you know, put the push the arc five website out there and have fun with it. So great job, Mr. Big, creating the shorts. And let's take a look at what we got next. All right. These guys do not need it, any introduction, but the Coin Builders TV, they've been on a roll. I think they've probably made at least 30, 20 to 30 shorts so far. They're having a lot of fun with it. And uh, let's take a look what they got in store for today. I think this is uh, yeah, the Avengers. This one's really cool. Can't hear that one. <clears throat> Mrs. Toad, can you hear me? Let me try again here. I don't hear it. I don't hear it. I actually know that meme. Avengers! Assemble. Awesome work by the Coin Builders TV. Getting creative, finding those memes, and tied it all together with art. I love those ones. <laughs> all right. And last but not least, we have uh, one of the first time entries from uh, one of the previous. Oh, 
one of the previous rounds, they've actually made a, a kind of a similar vibe. I think they've, they're like, oh, the community like this kind of uh, format, so let's kind of create another one. <laughs> so this is Chow Ruxes um, TikTok. I don't know if you saw last time, but they kind of made a little little a meme with the, the futters knocking on the window and the, the music and stuff. So let's take a look at this one. <laughs> That's all it is. Yeah, blocking out the futters. So we do. We fight the fud with facts. We ignore them. We, we keep on building. <laughs> Let's go. Awesome. So amazing work from our competitors here today. Those are our three arc shorts of the day. Go vote for your favorite one. You can go find the, the poll over in the shorts contest and giveaway topic channel. They're also pinned in the main chat. So if you missed any of them, there, all the links are there. You can go watch, rewatch your favorite ones and go cast your vote for the best arc short of the day. But that's it for the shorts contest. Let's bring it over to the wheel of the toad and give away some more free crypto. All right. It is that time, folks. Let's go ahead and punch it up. <laughs> of course. All right. This is our daily arc all aboard giveaway with the sweep widget. I heart arc wheel, the wheel of the toad as they like to call it. We do this every single day. It's super easy to get involved. Maybe you're watching here on the recordings. It's your first time seeing the, the wheel of the toad. It's a contest we have. It's a contest we have here every single day. It's pretty much a, a religious thing here, now here on the ARC. But it's super easy to get involved. Every day after the podcast, we post a new sweep widget link. It's posted in the main chat. It's posted in the uh, contest and giveaway channel, in the announcements channel. And if you're not in the announcements channel, definitely be sure to join. I know some people don't really like the uh, the mention bot. So if you want to mute the, the chat and then just do forward slash announcements in the main chat, join that announcements channel. That's uh, going to get you all the important information you need to keep up to date. So yeah, it's always posted in there. If you can never find it, always be sure to ask. We'll always repost it for you. Once you find that new sweep widget link, you're simply going to click on it. It's going to redirect you to a new website. That website is going to give you a list of tasks. It's going to range from liking and commenting on the daily podcasts uploaded over to YouTube over there, liking and commenting on the shorts for the shorts contest we just watched. Those get all uploaded to the Sweep Widget as well as the YouTube. Uh, <clears throat> clapping up and leaving a comment on Medium articles. We haven't had a few Medium articles lately, so if there's any inspiring Medium articles read, uh, writing out there, definitely uh, come on board the ARC and create something maybe about terror or the air card or, or whatever and we'll feature it on the sweep widget so yeah medium articles are always on there uh twitter twitter links tweets i should say sorry all you got to do is retweet those even visit some websites we got the trust pilot link on there so please go leave your review for trust pilot if you've already done that interact with all the other reviews leave a like leave a comment and all the other ones and yeah, it's super easy to get involved. Once you go through the list, it takes you a few minutes of your time. Your name is going to pop up on this lovely iHeart Arc Wheel, where every day, live on the podcast here, we spin the wheel to find our lucky winner. We land on one of your names here, your lucky name. You are going to take home the prize of $50 worth of Arc. And hey, even if you don't win, we do this every day. You always got tomorrow to get your name on there. Try to get your luck on winning a prize. And even if you don't win too, even just pushing, even just uh, going and participating in the sweep widget really does help push the algorithm for everyone here on the ARC. It pushes the algorithm for the YouTube, uh, for the podcast, upload over to YouTube, the Medium articles, even just the Twitter posts and all the shorts uploaded here on the ARC. So definitely get involved, do your part and uh, join the community. So without further ado, let's spin this wheel and find our lucky winner for tonight. Good luck enough. And congratulations, Olar Demis. You are our lucky winner for today, winning $50 worth of ARC. Congratulations to you and thank you everyone that participates every single day on the all aboard wheel. Back to you, Atlas, for the clock. Sparky time. The grand prize. El Grando. 
<laughs> All right, let's go ahead and punch it in. There we go. Let me know, sir. When if you can see it, how much spark? Ooh, we can see it. 837 arc. Let's go. We just had another 1600 arc buy come in the chat. Nearly $200. Let's go. That's almost half a max wallet. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. The FOMO is All coming right. in. And Sparky is going to get released, folks. I think everybody here knows how it is that we do it. So sit back, relax, and let's find our winners. We have it. Today's lucky Spark Prize winner has been selected. Their wallet ends in 8F72. They've won 753.62 ARC, folks, and they are a first time winner. Shout out Nitro Boost for the winner. And, of course, our MVP today, their wallet ends with 6E28. Um, I guess we didn't, you know, the, that buy you, you said came in, Mistletoe, didn't make it on time for the release of the Sparky. But congratulations to everyone that came and participated in today's Spark contest. Sheesh. All right, all right. Another lucky winner. We don't have Mr. Z for the DeFi sessions. He is traveling up and away. So we're going to conclude today's Saturday podcast. We'll be back tomorrow, Sunday. We will not be having the Crypto Badgers. They're taking a bit of a break, waiting for the tarot card, waiting for the big news, utility, arc light, all of the good stuff. They're going to recharge those batteries because, boy, are they going to need them because this is, you know, the fourth quarter <laughs> of the big match here where the big releases are coming. It's going to be quite, quite exciting folks. So that'll be tomorrow, 4 PM EST, 8 PM UTC folks. Be good to each other. Take care of each other. We'll see you all tomorrow.